Hello, this is Brandy with 3 Nail Faith, and today I want to go over all that is included in the 2022 Minimal Faith Planner, Digital Planner. So this is your front cover. If you slide next, you're going to automatically go to your index section. When you're trying to use your digital planner, make sure that your pen tool is off. This is the off mode. This is the on mode. You can see your bar across the top. You want to turn this off if you want to be able to do your links easily. So these are all the different um, sections that are in your index. Besides your monthly planners, you have all of these extra sections, and we'll go through them in just a minute. We're going to start off, and then next would be your 2022. All of these are also linked. You can hit April, and it'll go to April. You can hit April 1st, and it'll go to April 1st digital page daily page I'm sorry if you hit yeah this is a Monday start planner okay so that's that then you're automatically going to go into January and on each monthly page so I'm not going to go through each monthly page this is January 2022 you have your monthly overview your budget your meal planning your sermon notes for that month prayer requests favorite verses, soap, books of the Bible, and extra pages. Now, each of these is linked to your weekly page. So if you click that, sorry, you're going to go to your weekly page. Your weekly pages are all linked to your daily page. So each of these numbers will take you to that daily page. This is what your daily page looks like. At the top of your daily page, you have your meals, your budget, my prayers, that will be like a daily page for your prayers, prayer requests, favorite verses, sermon notes for the month, soap, and books of the Bible. Your January right here and your January on the side link to your month. This W links to your week. And then again, this is a Monday start. So in each of these also links to that day. So if we hit January 8th, it's going to go to January 8th. If we hit January up there, it's going to go to January. Or if you hit January here on the side, it's going to go to January. Again, each of these little days, hit January 8th, you're going to go to January 8th. Your meals up here. Oops, wrong planner, sorry. Your meals take you to the meals section. Go back to January. Pick a day. Your budget takes you to your budget. Planning. And this is like a checkbook registry where you can enter in, you know, your, let's zoom it in so you can see it, your transaction, then what you paid. Once it's gone through your bank, you can check there if it's a deposit and then your balance. And then over here, you can write in your incomes that come in and then all of your different expenses. This spot is when it's due, what you think it's going to be, what the actual is, and then what the difference is. And then if you want to do savings down here, and then your totals. So that's what the budget page looks like. I should go back to the meal planning page to show you that. Um, you can do this, you can do this weekly, or if you can just put in, you know, like Sunday breakfast, Sunday lunch, Sunday dinner, Sunday snack. Or you can change these up at the top to week one, week two, week three, week four, and just plan out your dinners. And then over here, you're going to write your grocery list. So that's how the budget works. Um, I'm going to show you this month's sermon notes. So you can write in the date, the topic, the main scripture, and then any notes that you have. Also down here at the bottom is prayer requests and how does this apply to my life. And you have however many Sundays in that month in your um, your side panel here and then they also link up sermon notes here so you got one two three four five for January um, your soap sheets are in the in actually this links to the index section but every month has it linked to this index section as well and this is what your soap, soap sheet looks like. 
Your favorite verses is also linked to your month and in the index. And that's what that page looks like. You write your the verse and then the scripture. Sermon notes, we went over that one. Books of the Bible. This one's kind of fun. Okay, maybe hard to see. We'll do right here. Like Thessalonians has two chapters in the book of Thessalonians. So then you can use your highlighter tool or your pen or whatever and just mark off that. But if you click this, it's going to actually take you to Bible Gateway to the actual book of whatever that is. We're not going to click it now, but that it'll actually take you to BibleGateway.com. So you can look it up if you would want to do that. And then My Prayers. This is where I told you before the My Prayers on the top of the daily page. Each daily page links into the My Prayers section. So if you want to write out your prayers, you have January 1st. You know, you can write them out here. And that links. It's not one to click. Click to the January page. And then if you go to My Prayers, it links there too. Okay, let's see what else is we, we went over them. Oh, we didn't go over the month review. This is just if you want to kind of keep up with what is going on in your day or your month, I'm sorry. Um, birthdays, special appoint events, appointments, month things that you need to do, goal things that you need to do. Um, if there's what you're reading, watching, listening to, eating, drinking, wanting, needing, giving back, and praying for. And then something I'm thankful for this month, a task or situation that I handled well, something I realized I learned, I can't, I could have made this month better if I, and my favorite memory from this month. So this is just kind of like an overview. It's got sections to keep up with things going on during the month, but then also what happened this month or what could have been better this month. And then so that, so you go from your month page to your month overview page to your budget page, to your food page, and then that starts your first week. So we went over the monthly view, overview, the budget, the meal planner, the sermon notes, prayer requests. I don't believe we hit prayer requests. Prayer requests also links back to the index page. And so you have a date, you have the date, the name, the request, and then if it was answered by God, you can put that in there. Like you can put the date or if it was a yes or no. Uh, we went over favorite verses. And then extra pages are also linked to the index and your monthly page. So we have contacts. Several contacts. Birthday and anniversary. Brain dump. Sermon notes. Your soap page your favorite verses page, prayer requests page. There's the Bible. Again, this is your passwords, measurements, period tracker, habit tracker. There's another uh, meal planner, another budget. Then you've got dot grid. I don't know if you can, there's your dot grid. Lines for my journal, square and a blank and and a line page. So we're going to go back to the index. So we did the 20, we did the birthday, we did the contacts, the passwords, the journal pages, the prayer requests, the sermon notes, favorite, Bible, soap, habit tracker, measurements, period, meal planning, budget, books. We didn't do books. Books isn't linked in there. So what you can do is you can put a picture of the book in this square and then rate it however many stars you felt like it was. And then you can also do like a book overview if you want to do that. If you want to write about it, make like your own review about it. Then we've got, so that's the books, the book overview, vision board. A lot of people do vision boards. So you can put your vision board here. You can either put just photos or if you have an actual vision board, you can take a photo of your actual vision board and put it in here. Or you can do individual photos so that it's kept up with you here. Then your goals. There's 10 goals. Put your picture of your goal and then your goal achieved. And then all the steps 
that it takes. And there's 10 of these sheets. Then your dream 100. This is where you can write out 100 dreams that you would like to achieve over your lifetime. Or in the year, depending on how you want to do that. Um, and then we did the brain dump and all of those. And then these down here, you get 10 extra notebooks within the index. So you can do whatever you want with those 10 extra. So that, I believe, covers everything. We covered to click on the dailies, you're going to click the little number. Again, the weeklies, you're going to click the boxes. All of these are linkable. And those are all your pages. These numbers link to the daily page. Your meal section, your budget, all of these are all linkable. Then you also have your weeks that are linkable here and all of these are linkable to that page. Your January or January. And that's how it's set up. And then the way this is set up, so we have Saturday and Sunday in this week and then you slide to your following week and then you'll slide to your first day your first Monday so that is all that is included in the 2022 minimal planner if you have any questions please let me know and you have a wonderfully blessed day